Sumit is live with an overgrowth and a whole lot of root riders. Is this match just gonna be 10 root rider attacks? It, it might be. We're back, ladies and gentle fish. Next match up here in the Cosmo Cup. We got Anarchia. We got TWOB. Hopefully this will be a juicy match. And we got Bathbo going in with the first attack of the match. A lot of hog riders from the upper side of the base. What the? Queen going toward the town hall. King on the lower side of the base. He had a siege barracks on the right side. Late zap quake for a bunch of defenses over there. Sure. Queen's responsible for the town hall with ability. She should get it. What does he have? A healer puppet. Bought the warden ability super early. Got the royal champion with both the new stuff. Got a dragon on defense that the royal champion needs to fight. Queen gets through the town hall. This guy's multitasking like a boss, bro. But all the hoggies are fizzling out. Pop the RC ability. Queen also trying to get through the monolith, and she will. Some bonus hog riders on the back side of the base. This actually ended up being pretty quick, huh? Pretty quick. If he can get through that building on the top side, we're at 66, 67, 68, 69, 70 second attack to start the match. And I might have missed like the first five or 10 seconds as well. <laughs> 32 hog riders plus more in the hog rider puppet. GG. TWOB with their first attack. Are they going to be able to go for speed here today as well? Let's find out. They're bringing the Root Riders. They're bringing an Earthquake and an Overgrowth. Queen on the right side of the base with one Root Rider and rest of them going toward the Town Hall with a bunch of Valkyries. The Barbarian King. Let's do it. We got a Healing Tome. We got the Quake Spell. We got a Freeze. We got a Healer Puppet on the Queen. Pop that one ability. Down goes the Town Hall. Invis Tower goes off right after that. Ice Golem's out of the defensive clan castle. We're going to Overgrowth. The Eagle Artillery and surrounding defenses. Sure, sure, sure. Super Hog Riders and Royal Champion coming out from the top side of the base. Let's do it. Queen already struggling. She might have to go to ability here. Go to Wall Break for the junction. Queen does go to ability. Lose one healer right away to a Ziggy Nairmine. Rage Spell on the top side of the base. He's got a lot of Root Riders healthy. Gonna rage up the Queen and the Healer Puppet healers and give her a free spell. We really want her to stay alive. Okay. All right. Rage Tower goes off on defense. Lots of Inferno Towers doing extra damage. Eagle Artillery as well. But we got so many units still alive. Queen's still vibing. For now. We lose the Unicorn. Queen is actually going to die after I say something. Bro, Champion has ability. No more spell support. Where's the RC? She's making her way to the core. What abilities does she have? Hog Rider Puppet Seeking Shield combo. Interesting combo there. King already used his ability, but he's still got a lot of firepower. A lot of Valkyries. Able to just smash through these Teslas. Down goes the Royal Champion. That's going to be a problem. That's going to be a big problem, actually. Down goes the last Root Rider. This is getting really sketchy. Hold on. Hold on. Warden Statue is going to send King to Phoenix Ability, and he's going for a really, really bad spot right now. I wish he would go for the Junction Wall. This might be a fail. This is a fail. Right away, TWOB start off the match with a fail. Ugh. That's not what you want when you're going up against the World Champions. Anarchia, 96% and Anarchia start 3-2. to two. Selino with a lot of root riders. Let's do it. Let's do it. Valkyries, headhunters, take out the king right away. We're going straight at the town hall. Some people are really preferring the root rider armies where you go straight at the town hall instead of finishing on it. It seems to really work either way if you do it correctly. Pop the Warren ability. Valkyries absolutely demolished that town hall, and then we zoom on past it. King, Queen dropped late from the top side of the base. All right. Royal Champion dropped on the left side. Siege Barracks troops making their way over there as well. We got a dragon and some ice golems out of the defensive clan castle. We dropped the poison spell, dropped another rage, dropping skeleton spells on the left side to try and distract another rage. Over on the right side as the ice golems slow us down. Pop the king ability, giant gauntlet to carry us through these multi targeting archer towers. Another skeleton spell. Distract the single target inferno tower. Rage the royal champion. Freeze the inferno tower in the middle section of the base. We lost most of the root riders. But the heroes are probably going to carry through the rest of the attack. Pop the RC ability. She's got Hog Rider Puppet. She's got Haste Vial. Going to make her quick with it. One more freeze. We'll get her through the entire middle section of the base. We just got to get through that big old ricochet cannon on the right side. And this base is smashed. Looking good for Mr. Salino. One more freeze to help out. Probably didn't even need it. Pop the Queen ability. Got that Healer Puppet to help assist. Super Barbarian on the outside of the base. Both Peckers from the Siege Barracks still alive at the end of this attack. And Anarchia, just like that, they go two for two. Sumit is live with an overgrowth and a whole lot of Root Riders. All right. Is this match just going to be 10 Root Rider attacks? It, it might be. It might be. 
Queen on the top side. Siege Barracks on the left. Ward with the healing tome. Frozen arrow. Giant gauntlet. New stuff from the champion. Early ward ability. Double rage setup. Let's go. Root Rider spam has turned into like E-Drags. Where you just pop a ward ability early, drop a double rage, and hope for the best. Let's do it. Overgrowth. Sure. Road champion working on the left side of the base here. Okay. Need somebody to go take out that Eagle Artillery. We got Super Hog Riders coming out of the Siege Barracks. Freeze upon the Town Hall Monolith section. Queen will be able to take out the Town Hall for sure. King's going to try to help out. Root Riders pathing through the Monolith. We decide to rage up the Road Champion. Overgrowth's going to expire in a few seconds. RC going to have to go fight the enemy Queen, but she's distracted by a few skeleton traps. Super Barbs on the outside, helping out a little bit for those outside defenses. That's looking good. Queen still has ability. King still has ability. Champion still has ability. Giant Gauntlet's going to carry through uh, another big chunk of the base here as the Root Riders bust open some of these walls. We decide to rage up the Champion. Pop her ability. Hog Rider Puppet. Haste Vile making her super quick with it. Down goes that last Inferno Tower, and this base is smashed. Subies. Able to get it done. Quick one as well. Too bad they failed their first attack, man. It would have been nice if we were all tied up right now, but... Oh well, they still have a chance, but they need a defense. Bernal with 33 Hog Riders. Ooh. With a Zap Quake setup. Snipe the Queen right away. And a Multi Archer Tower. And an Expo. Okay. Some Super Barbarians. Archer Queen on the lower left side of the miss. King way on the bottom. We got a Healer Pup. We got the Giant Golem. We got an Ice Golem getting in there to help out. King popping ability. He's going to go left. I don't know if that was the plan. But that's the way he's going. And holy hog rider spam. Let's do it. Battle blend for the town hall. Ward ability popped early. We got the royal champion in behind the hogs. Poison tower goes off on some of the units. Rage spill. Another dragon in the CC. TWOB have been rocking all the dragons in their defensive clan castle. It's like one dragon and two ice golems. That seems to be the combo they like. Queen pops ability, but all those healers from the healer pump are getting wrecked. Queen's going to die as well to the ricochet cannon, maybe. We lost most of the hog riders. We still got a couple more we could deploy. Send some from the top side of the base. Road champion, it's up to her. And the Grand Warden. That defensive drag is still alive. Oh, this might be a big problem for Bernal. Hold on. We decide to freeze the Ricochet Cannon. Warden goes down. Spirit Fox goes invisible again. Couple Hog Riders still alive on both sides. Champion already used ability. No more spells to keep her alive through the Ricochet Cannon, who eliminates the Fox and is about to eliminate the champion. Ooh, they kill each other. Do we get through that? Monolith. Dude, this is close. This is close. This is close. Monolith. One HP in a dream. Stays alive. <gasps> no. No. Headhunter snipe it. Balloon goes down. Multi to kill everything. We're at 98%. The Phoenix is gonna make it 99. Can he get 100? The Phoenix is low. The Multi's half HP. Battle of the week. The traps! The traps! Ooh, down goes the Phoenix. Bernal is gonna fail. And TWOB get themselves a defense. And Arctic are still going to be in the lead on percent. But this means TWOB have a chance. They could get another defense. You never know. What do we got? Barbarians on a wall? LOL. It's not going to work out. 99% for Mr. Bernal. Drago with the next attack for TWOB. We got some zaps. We got some quakes. Queen going left. King going toward the town hall. Sweet. This queen is getting bamboozled early. Oh, yikes. Pop her ability. We got the healer puppet. She does take out the enemy queen. Send a battle drill to the town hall. Pop that giant gauntlet. We'll get the town hall. We'll get the enemy king. That part's looking good. Battle drill might make its way all the way to the core. I actually really like that pathing. We start the Lalo from the left side of the base. Let's do it. Let's do it. Queen's still alive. Poison tower goes off on basically nothing. Another dragon on the defense of clan castle. But this time it's anarchy on defense. Both teams using dragons on defense. Nice. Did he miss a zap? I didn't even notice. I didn't even notice. He might have missed something. Extra Lava Hound from the top side with some backup balloons. Still got a lot of balloons alive in the main group. Raged up Yeti Bomb out of the battle drill. Healers from the Healer Puppet trying to transition over to the Yetis and help out. Tornado Trap slowing us down a little bit. Does he have a Royal Champion in there somewhere? Yes, she was working on the right side of the base. Freeze on the scatter shot except we missed the scatter shot yo what the it doesn't matter though he could have swagged it pop the rc ability got the hog puppet got the haste vial she's super quick with it take out the enemy rc but we get frozen first now we take out the enemy rc take out the last inferno tower and the base is deleted we're gonna be all tied on stars finally eight to eight 
And I think it's only a three building lead for Anarchia. If they keep tripling, they win. But any slip up from Anarchia. And TWOB are right back in this. Nice attack here with the Lalo. And look at the score. As the attack ends, you'll see it is indeed eight to eight. I thought he was already getting the last building. Why is that taking forever? There it is. Boom. Loop. The next attack for Anarchia. And there's actually a lot of pressure on Anarchia now. They can't slip up at all. Time might not matter too much anymore, but they have to get the triple. 99% and they could lose the lead. Here we go with more Root Rider spam through the town hall section of the base. Who would have guessed? Who would have guessed? Freeze upon the town hall. Rage spell is in. Another dragon. Double ice golem. Defensive setup. We get that town hall. We pop the ward ability. Queen doing her thing on the lower side of the base. Another healer puppet in Viz Vile. Skeleton spell trying its best to distract. We got a... Ooh. A late overgrowth. I like it. Hog riders. Normal hog riders. Out of the siege barracks. They're actually going to get in there and get some value. Okay. All right. Queen popped her ability. King trying to catch up. Help out. Is anybody going for the dragon? I don't know. I guess this one wizard's trying to. <laughs> Poor guy is stuck on a wall though. Lol. Overgrowth. Still going to last a few more seconds. We're actually going to rage up the queen and the healer puppet healers. Overgrowth expires. Poison tower going to pop off. Royal champion on the top side. Still at full health with ability. We got one more freeze and that's it. Giant gauntlet ability. Trying to do a lot of damage here now. Queen looking good. Some super barbs for the back side of the base. In combo with a headhunter. I don't know if he had a headhunter and it just died or what. But he gets through the barbarian king. That's looking great. This is wreck. This is wreck. Clean attack from Mr. Loop. The root riders stay on top. No reason to use anything else, I guess. That is another three star for Anarchia. Sayo with a fourth attack for TWOB. We are bouncing back and forth. Pressure on each side. Nobody can slip up right now. Sam also needs to triple very desperately. Zap Quake on the left side of the town hall. Perfect zaps on that one. Eliminates one in Miz Tower with half those core defenses. Queen on the upper side of the base. We're going with another Lalo. I respect it. I like it. TWOB with their second Lalo attack of the day. Queen with the frozen arrow. We do have a life gem on the Grand Warden this time. No healing tome. Hog Rider Puppet with the Seeking Shield combo. We'll see a little, little bit later. Queen goes inside with that Golem. It's a good thing the Queen is, is a tanking for the Golem. We need to make sure that Golem stays alive forever. Lalo from the right side of the base with a Battle Blimp for the Town Hall. Let's do it. The only thing I don't like about this is I think the Battle Blimp dropping bombs on the multi is going to trigger the Invis Tower and you can't stop it. Yep. Because you drop the blimp from the right side of the base, there is no way to prevent that. The freeze misses the town hall. The rage is not even on the yetis. It is on the yeti mines as they go backtrack for the town hall. And they still get it. Yes. But they don't get any extra defenses on the right side. And those defenses just annihilated his balloons. We got extra balloons on the south side of the base. Royal champion in there. Good thing we got the haste spell for the royal champion. Because he didn't bring the haste vial. <laughs> extra lava hound deployed. Queen beats through a wall. Good thing she still got that golem. She might be able to clear the core. We're a champion to fight the enemy. Queen. We still got the RC ability. This might work. This might work, even though it felt so sloppy. So sloppy, but sometimes sloppy is just the best way to get the job done. <laughs> Ignore me. Family friendly show. Nobody got this expo. Queen wrapped around the upper side of the base. RC finally going to pop ability here. Try to clean up everything on the left side. Baby Dragon to help out and distract. The final Archer Tower. Minion Parade trying to get the Expo. We're just going to have to go finish over there. This is getting really close. RC gets the Archer Tower. We still got the Spirit Fox though, so it's wrecked. 60 seconds left on the clock. Triple's a triple, man. Triple is a triple. Spirit Fox can go invisible again. Get the final Expo. Clean up already taken care of. Another three star for TWOB. And we're all tied up. Going into the last round of attacks. It is 11 to 11. If Leo triples, this match is over, and Antarctica wins. If Leo fails, TWOB can steal the win. Siege Barracks on the right side of the base, early Skeleton Spell. King deployed up on the top with a giant gauntlet. Got a Frozen Arrow, got the Healing Tome, all stuff we should expect. No Overgrowth Spell on this one, just four Rages and some Skelly Spells and Freezes. Same defensive clan castle we've been seeing all day long. First Rage to get us through that initial compartment, then the Warden ability. He was able to delay it a little bit until we get into the second layer. Hog Riders coming out of the Siege Barracks. Cool, cool, cool. 
Another skeleton spell and Royal Champion and some headhunters deployed on the bottom side of the base. Double giant bomb though. Rip the headhunters. Royal Champion might struggle a little bit over there now. We rage our way through the town hall. Queen up on the top side. Or is that the king? I think that's the king. Queen's in the core in the Giga Poison. Slowing her down a little bit. We got one more rage. Got two more freezes. Got the RC ability still to use. Got the queen ability still to use. It's looking good, right? I think so. King's gonna go down. But we got so many units. Even some super barbs to help out on the outside of the base here. It's looking good for Leo. And Arkia, they're only failed at 99% from Bernal. It's going to be good enough here to win themselves this match in the Cosmo Galaxy Series versus TWOB. GG. We still got one more attack to watch. Werewolf with the final attack of the match. Look at this. Another one of these toxic double invis, awkward core bases. And we're still just going to Root Rider spam the heck out of it. Siege Barracks on the left. Queen's got a healer puppet. We deploy her way over on the right side of the base. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. Skeleton spell, root riders are in. King, queen, Valkyries, let's do it. Let's do it. Sure, sure, sure. Skeleton spell, oh, he's going with the trick. The trick to to make both invis towers go off early it only costs you two spells skeleton spell and an invis do damage to the town hall boom both invis towers go off early i love it i love it nice little way to negate both spell towers with just two spells rage pop warn ability make her way through the core of the base got super hog riders coming out of the siege barracks royal champion working through the monolith section queen with a healer from the healer puppet and the unicorn and a wall breaker doing her thing on the right side of the base Healing Tome, coming in clutch, keeping a lot of these units alive as we rage our way through the backside of the core. Another Rage Spell to help the Unicorn keep the Queen alive through the final expo. Royal Champion still has her ability to pop here to get through the backside of the base. It's looking good for Mr. Werewolf. TWOB also going to walk away with four triples today. Both teams with just one fail. And that's all it takes in this meta. One of those fails was a 99, and TWOB's fail was a 96. Still so close so close to winning this match but they're gonna walk away with a loss nice try to twob this one's 14 to 14 and a win on percent for anarchia by three buildings